Yeah, thank you. How are you? Fine, sir. Uh, let me start with a glass of water, please. Thank you. Okay, sir. Yes. What do you want? A chance to get to know you. That's what I want. So, have we met before? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> do I know you? That's a question I will have to ask God why he kept me away from a very beautiful woman like you for too long. Huh? How old are you? Why do you ask? I ask because it's important that you know that I do not deal with men your age. Age? <laughs> age? Numbers? That's what it is, numbers. Huh? <clears throat> Go find another cherry to bite. Because I will choke you to death if you try. Excuse me. What is this? Ma, a delivery man was here earlier. The delivery man? Yes, ma. From who? Ma, there's a note attached to the, to the deliveries. I was very busy when the man came, so I just brought him here. He deposited it and left. Sure, ma. Ma. How do you get around accepting gifts from total strangers without my express permission? I'm very sorry, ma. I didn't know what to do. I've not seen anyone bringing gifts to you before. Will you shut your mouth? Just pray that someday this indiscretion of yours will not cost you your job in this office. My friend, get out! Kenneth. Who is Kenneth? Shoma, come back. Ma. 
Now, this is going to be the first and the last time I will give you this warning. Never to accept any gift on my behalf without my permission. Do you understand me? Now, especially if that gift is not adding any value to this company. Yes, ma. I'm very sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. My friend, will you get this rubbish out of my table? And make sure you prepare the files for my meeting this morning. Okay, ma. Please, ma, what do I do with all these gifts? You know what? Pack them. Take them to your village. And share with your elders. My friend, will you take this nonsense and get out of here? I'm very sorry, ma. With the paper, everything. Get out. What will you do with it? Hello. <laughs> what is this, young man? Are you stalking me? Ah, <laughs> stalking you. You know, that will be quite a rewarding experience, huh? <laughs> Actually, find out where you, where you work, because I, I asked questions, I asked around. Uh, and by the way, did you get the flowers I sent you? I, I handpicked them myself. Oh, that was you? Yes. You're that Kenneth. I am Kenneth. I'm an IT consultant, I'm into real estate. Excuse and me, it is obvious that you're stalking me. And so anytime I see you anywhere me again, that means you want to spend some quality time in the Nigerian police cell, and I will make sure of that. Come Try on, me. Come on now. Excuse me. today. Good afternoon, Ma. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Um, <clears throat> okay, so, but do you have French fries? Yes, Ma, there's French fries. All right, and uh, grilled barbecue chicken breast yes, with the French fries. Yes, Ma. Yeah. Okay, my meal will be ready in a few minutes. Ma. All right. Thank you. Why is she smiling so cheapishly? Yeah. Bring your POS in. No, my don't need to make any payments. I don't get it. Is it that you now sell food here for free? <laughs> no, ma, but son had already paid for your meal long before you came in here, ma. What are you talking about? All I'm trying to say is someone has already paid for your meal, ma. So you don't need to make any Young lady, you're starting to get me seriously pissed off. Now, here is the money for what I ordered. I'm sure it's a little bit over. You can keep the change. And thank you. Oh. Welcome, Ma. Thank you, Choma. Choma, oh. you didn't go out for lunch again? I didn't, Ma. I just came in. Oh, great. Um, I'm going to be very busy in my office now, preparing the brief for the minister. I do not want to be disturbed. Okay, Ma. All right, all right. Ma, there was a gentleman here to see you earlier. He came in just about the time you stepped out for your lunch. He said he'll be back. Okay, so what's his name and why does he want to see me? Business, just business. Nice place. Really nice. <laughs> like your chairs. You know everything about you is really, really classy, huh? Hmm? 
<laughs> the only reason that I did not have you booted out when you walked into my lobby again is because I do not want to act like a tout in front of my secretary. So you have two minutes to say whatever you want to say and get out. Have a good day. What are you doing? I'm leaving. What games are you playing, young man? I'm not playing man? games. I came here to tell you something really, really important. But you see this rude and pushy attitude. Sorry, I can't deal with. Pushy and rude? Yeah. What nonsense are you talking about? You stalk me. You call me to my office unannounced. You send me flowers that I didn't ask for. You pay for lunch in a restaurant that I didn't ask for. And then you have the effort to stand before me and say I'm rude and pussy. Yes, you're rude and pussy. You trash the gifts that I buy you. You constantly threaten to get me arrested. I'm thrown out of your premises. What, the hotel called me to tell me that the restaurant department called them that you had turned down the meal that I had paid for. Why? That's you being rude and pussy. Then... Get out of my office and never show your face here again. Get out. Very well. <laughs> what? Well, your fuse is really not short, yeah? God damn it. I got you. I got you. Look at your what? Listen, listen, darling. I'm going nowhere. What you think I'm going to come all the way <laughs> and come sit here with you, beautiful woman? I'm messing up by getting nah. nah, 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 nah. We're gonna have this conversation, baby. Listen to me. Okay, I saw you one time. My heart stopped. You're in every sense of the world the kind of woman that I want. I love you. If you can just calm down and give us a chance. Great. Yeah, let me tell you something. Stop threatening me with the police and telling these guys to come pick me up and get me arrested. That won't fly. Because the entire Nigerian police force cannot even stop me from coming here. I'm going to show up here every other day. So you give us a chance. So I'm here so that you and I can really get to talk and know each other. So shall we try? Huh? I'm calling the security unit. Go ahead. I have all day. Come on now. I like you. Stop fighting me. I know today has been a hard day, okay? So when you get home, walk on the briefs and come in at 9 a.m. tomorrow, okay? Okay, ma. Good night. All right. Good night. Hi. What are you still doing here? Waiting for you to talk to me like a human being. Waiting uh, for me? For yeah. what? I like you. Young man, what do you want from me? My name is Kenneth. I don't think that's too hard to pronounce now, is it? Okay, Kenneth. What do you want from me? To get a chance to talk to you. To get close to you. To know you better. I like you. Huh? Well, that will not be possible, my dear. Why? And that's because I am a married woman. You're widowed, Mofa. You're not married. You know my name? I know a couple of things about you. I asked questions, my friend. I'm sorry. When a man really wants a woman, he goes all out. 
Okay, I, I, I won't forget the way I felt the moment I set eyes on you at that restaurant. I'm pretty new here. I'm really, really new here. So I go there from time to time to have my meal. But you walked into that restaurant that day and something in my heart just, just twitched. And I'm standing here asking you to please just give me a chance. Let me, for starters, let me be your friend, okay? Please. Thank you for agreeing to sit out with me for a bit. I, I enjoyed myself. I'm glad you came. I'm sorry. I know that it's a dream come true. Um, I mean, for us to have had this sit out this evening. But, um,. There's something on my mind you know, that's just been pricking me. I have tried to see if I, I would try not to talk about it, but it just keeps, you know. And uh, that is? The fact that you were quiet all through. You, you weren't talking much, you weren't laughing. You barely even smiled at me. Am I that boring? Companion? You wanted to get to spend some time with me and know me better, right? Yeah, absolutely. Then you got that tonight. And that's because I wanted you to know the real me. This is beginning. I am not the right kind of woman for you. And it has nothing to do with class difference or anything. So what is this about? <laughs> it's about the fact that I have not stopped loving my late husband. It's about the fact that I am incapable of being with another man ever since my husband died. It's about the fact that I shared some good memories with him and I'm not ready to let that go. So you see, this is the real me, Kenneth. I'm not the woman that you should waste your time on. Have a good night. Good night. Mom, when did you get back? Not long ago. I am very tired. <laughs> Me too. I must have... Um, just hold on. I have something for you. Hold on. <clears throat> so... <laughs> You did not tell me you have a lover called Kenneth. Oh my God, mom. This is flowers, chocolate. So amazing. Mom, I think I need to get a picture of this. I need to go get my phone. Like my friends on Instagram and Facebook are going to be so psyched. Calm down, calm down, Vina. How did those get into this house? Um, a delivery guy brought them here. I was so amazed. I had to sign off on your behalf. How romantic, mom. I think there's a card in here 
for you know what i'm going to get my phone and it smells good too oh my gosh this boy is just crazy and stubborn Any problem? Ah, there's something you need to see. What is it? Just kidding. Okay, it's coming. That's too long. What is this nonsense? Well, um, one of our customers, Mr. Kenneth, paid for this stuff for you. I can see someone is trying to play some stupid joke with me. And I am not in the mood. So please take that meal and get out of my office with this before I kick it to the floor. I'm sorry, Mama. I cannot do that. Excuse me. I was told that if you do not accept this meal, I should leave you here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come. Hello. Es and you find this amusing? I'm oh, sorry, Mama. Yeah, sorry. Who was all that smile? I forget out of my office. Sorry, ma. I don't know what you're smiling about and I'm thinking it's you. Hello? Hello? You're trespassing on my property, Kevin. Is it that your parents did not train you well enough to respect people, their wishes, and their rights? My lady, I think you should make arrangements to get me arrested because I'm not living here. Oh, really? Yes, because I have fallen in love with you. And I'm not going to stop coming here until you give us a chance. You think I'm impressed by this? You think I'm impressed? with the huge card you sent to my house, or the meals you sent to my office, I will have you know that it is rightfully where it belongs, in the trash. I don't care. Get out of my property now. No, I would not. Get out of my property or I'll get the securities to throw you in the gutters. I'm not going anywhere. I have decided to pitch my tent here, show up here every day. As a matter of fact, I have called off at the office. I'm going to be here every other day until you give us a chance, beautiful woman. I don't give up easily. Come on now. I'm not that bad looking. Come on now, okay. Just give us a chance. Let's get to talking. I don't know. Hi, you. Hi. Oh my God, look at this. Stop writing. Hi. You're, you're welcome. Uh, please, just right here. It's just fine. Ah. Boy. Oh, boy. I. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for showing up. I didn't expect you to actually. Okay, um, what do I offer you? I don't worry, I have it figured out, don't worry. I'll get you something really nice. This, um, you know, I am. Uh, so, this is me, this is where I. I have been staying for about four months now. It's the company's quarters for those of us that have been transferred here. No. I, I, I know it's really not, it's not a lot, but um, this is what the company provides, you know? Yeah. How have you been? <laughs> okay. Great. Hope you don't mind. I am... Um, 
Uh, okay, you go first. You go. Thank you. Yeah. Let's see. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh. Uh, would you like me to, um, you know, make you something to eat? You see, that's my dining over there. I haven't used it quite <laughs> since I, I moved in here. But I, I, trust me, uh -oh. I'm a very good cook. I could make you something really, really nice. You're going to like it. What? I shouldn't be here. Did I say something wrong? Please. What have I done? Huh? Look, listen. Look, look. If, it, look if, 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 it's, if it's about this place, I, I know it's not up to your taste. But please understand and bear with me. It's what you the company has provided. Please don't go. You don't understand. You still don't be here. I mean, I've never been alone with a man since eight years my husband died. So this is so awkward. It's just not proper. Sorry about that. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, please. Why do you want to leave me? Why? Get out of my way. I need to leave here now. What is this about? Is it that I appeal to you in a way that makes you uncomfortable and you're refusing to admit it? <sighs> I'm sorry. No, I want to know. Tell me. Is it that you like me so much that you're having a hard time admitting, accepting it? What? I'm not going to do this, please. No, I, I am going to do this. You, you have to tell me. What is it? What is it you're fighting with? What, what is it you're battling Get with? Get out of my way. No, I need to no. go now. Don't I, I touch. I don't want you to go. Come on. Hmm? Please don't go. Huh? As for sure, I have you, and I know you have me, baby, baby. What we have, what we have, baby, baby. What we have, what do we have? Just let's take this chance, love be right now. Oh, let's take this chance, let's take this chance for love. Let's take this chance, let's take this chance, love be right. Let's take the 
Let's just let's let this just love be right now. Oh, let's let this just let's let this just full love. Let's let this just let's let this just love be right. It has been a while I saw her this elegant and beautiful. Where is my mother? What is going on? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Mommy is just in high spirits. <laughs> no, this is more than being just in high spirits. You know, I've noticed some changes about you. <laughs> you now sing love songs when you're in the bathroom and getting ready for work you're no longer the grumpy woman that i've known since dad died hmm. who is the man mom hello and who told you there is a man duh i am not a kid i know there is a man out with it who's the man okay there is a man <laughs> Yeah, and he's someone very dear to my heart. Someone I hold very close. Well, after my banjo, of course. Of course, Mom. I'm just happy for this transformation. You're no longer the grumpy woman I used to know since Dad died. I must meet this man. <laughs> okay. I want the word of you to meet, actually. You know, he's very special to me. And you are the most special person in my life right now. So it will give me great joy that both of you meet and become friends. You don't have to worry about that. I mean, any man that is capable enough to make you this happy is automatically my friend. <laughs> so when do I meet him? Um, okay, I will tell him to come by the house this evening. Is that okay for you? Totally okay. Uh, I was going to go out, but everything is cancelled. What you need to do is take your beautiful self to work and come back with your boo. <laughs> My boo. <laughs> I sure love the sound of that. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So I just sent 300,000 Naira into your account now. 300,000 Naira? All for me? Yes. You can do anything you want with it. You go shopping and take care of it. But really, what is mommy making money for if not to take care of my baby? So you go shopping, buy anything you want with it. And um, yeah, you'll be coming over this evening, okay? Uh. But probably my do. Dina. Wow. Yeah. So how does mommy look? You look amazing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Bye, baby. This is not the Mofair that I used to know ever since my husband died. I have made love to you in my office, yes. at home, everywhere. And I totally enjoyed it. 
Now I cannot stay a day without thinking about you, wanting to see you. Everything I do now must have bits and pieces of you in it. I'm afraid. You have nothing to worry about, Mofa, for I have given you my body and my soul. Okay. I love you, Kenneth, with all my life. I love you even more. You all love me. No, Kenneth. Don't say. You love me if you don't mean it. And that's because I'm not an easy woman when it comes to love. That's the reason why I have stayed away from all the men that have asked me out. And that's because I don't want them to wake up this feeling of love. I've buried ever since I lost my husband. Kenneth? Yes? When I love, I love. I love to death. And I fight everything that stands in the way of my love. So be careful. And you say to me that you love me. I'm not going to joke with you, Mofa. For I want more than love from you. I want to marry you, Mofa. I want you in my arms as I grow old. I want you for eternity. I love you, Kenneth. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Thank you for opening up your soul to me. And I promise you here and now that I'll do all that I can to protect you from every harm for as long as I have breath in me. Hmm? I am here to stay, baby. That's mom. I hope she came with her prince charming. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, mom. <laughs> How are you going? I'm fine. Yeah. Is, mm. is this your prince charming? Yeah, that's my prince charming. <laughs> Okay, um, Kenneth, meet my daughter, Vina. Vina, Kenneth. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> uh, welcome to our humble abode and to dinner, all prepared by me. You cooked? I did. But you haven't cooked in a while. I know. Um, you know when you're expecting a very handsome guest like Kenneth, you have to go into the kitchen, whip up your cooking skills, and bust some meals. <laughs> You're welcome once again. Um, Thank you. Please sit down. Sure. My mom and I will be with you in a second.
long I've learned to be myself Don't need to be perfect Don't need to be perfect All along I've learned to be myself Don't need to impress anyone Don't need to be perfect Cause when I look at me The only thing I see Is greatness Is greatness When the world gives you a thousand reasons to stay down Don't you ever give up Don't you ever give up When the world gives you a thousand reasons to stay down ah. Don't you ever give up Don't you ever give up oh. Hi, Mom. What's up? What is wrong? Nothing. Nothing? You look worried. What is going on? Nothing, Vina. Nothing. Myself. Don't need to be perfect. Don't need to be perfect. All along I've learned to be myself. Don't need to impress anyone Don't need to be perfect Look at me The only thing I see Is greatness Is greatness Don't be selfish Don't you be for sweetness Against one another Against one another On your face Yes, I'm coming. Good evening, Ma. Ma, how may I help you? Ma, are you looking for someone here? Kenneth. I want to see Kenneth. Oh. You meet my uncle Kenneth. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ma, are you okay? I want to see Kenneth. You know, I've been trying to reach him for the past four days and his line has been switched off. Okay. Uh, sorry, Ma. Who are you? My name is Mofe. And I am his friend. Uh, is he in? Oh, quite like Uncle Kenneth to make friends here. Yeah. When you were just visiting for a few weeks. He has gone back to his base about five days ago before I and my mom came back from our trip to Abuja. Oh, I see. Yes, ma'am. But he never mentioned anything about going back to his base or... So where can I find him now? Uh, ma, actually, he has been preparing for his wedding. That is coming up in two weeks' time. He only came here to prepare for his wedding to avoid distractions now. Now come back. Oh my, if there is any message you want to give to him, you can leave it there so I can pass the message to my mom. So we'll give him. Ma? Ma, are you okay? Ma? Mom, it's past midnight and your phones have been switched off. How could you stay out so late and put everybody in a state of worry? Mom, are you... 
What is wrong? <laughs> Mom! John! What is the matter? What's going on? Leave me, you Lord! Leave me! Good day. Good evening, ma. How are you? I'm fine. You're welcome to my shop. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. Yes, very. Very nice. You know, nice African print you have here. It just reminds me of when I holidayed in the car. Oh wow. Um, most of these things you're picking, I actually got them from Dakar. Oh, really? Yes, ma. You go there often? Oh, yes. I'll be going to Dakar this weekend to shop for my wedding. And it's not just going to be shopping, but honeymooning as well. Wow, it's so great. <laughs> you know, you sound like a very intelligent woman. I'm sure any man that has you as a wife should be grateful to God. <laughs> oh my God, I wish my fiancé was here to hear all of that. But he's a great guy as well, and I thank God I have him. So, um, what's your name? I'm Jocelyn, ma. Jocelyn. Yes, ma. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I have more. Okay. I think this, this will suit you better. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. It's going to suit you perfectly. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so that's fine. Don't worry, I'll be coming again very soon. 
this time to shop for my daughter. Oh. Yeah, she just got admission to school in London. Wow. And I always want her to wear African prints. Nice. You know, so it just keeps her rooted to Africa. <gasps> Very good. Nice decision, Ma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That. How much is that? Um, Okay, ma. Everything here is about four hundred and sixty thousand naira. Oh, but I'll be giving you a very huge discount. We can do four twenty, ma. <laughs> okay, so ma, are you doing cash or card? Hmm. Yeah. I didn't get in. I'm in Spark. Right. Just just for yourself I mean. You see you now. And you, you tell me you love me. Are you see that I love you? Right. Yes. Right. <laughs> right. Oh my god. It's the costume of this. Oh, okay. Hello, Ma. Oh, hi, Jocelyn, right? Yes. Wow. <laughs> what are you doing here? Um, I come here once in a while, you know, to chill out. Oh, wow. And you, what are you doing here? I'm here with my fiancé to have a great time. Please, I would love you to meet my fiancé. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> oh, babes. Mm -hmm. Meet my um, <coughs> customer, the one I told you about. My pet. Nice to meet you. My name is Mope. <laughs> yes, babe. Why is your face like this? <gasps> I'm okay. I'll be fine. I'll be okay. Ken, are you going to talk to me? What is wrong? I'm, I'm fine. Hey, we're almost home, so... I'm okay. I can't let you talk to me. You don't want to talk to me now. You can't tell me what it is that is eating you. Ken, are Here we are. So, can we go in now? No, I'm not. I'm not coming in. What do you mean you're not coming in? The plans was to be together tonight. Spend yeah. Time together. Yes, Have I know. Have fun. I know, I know. I'm just, I just want to go home. I'm not in the mood. Ken, what's wrong with you? Sweetheart, I'm fine. I, I just want to go home and rest my head. Babes, when we set out earlier today, we were all happy. I know. And all of a sudden, you switched. I'm just, I'm just tired. Why the mood swing? What's wrong with you? Okay, it's fine. We can talk more you know what? inside the you house. You know what? Um, how about we talk about this tomorrow, I promise you. Let me just rest my head. Please, Did I'm I do tired. anything wrong? It's not you. Okay, come on. Let me get home before it's dark. All right. I'll see you tomorrow.
Hello? She's here. She's, she's here to look for me. She's here. Stop shouting in my ear. Who is with you? I'm talking about your mom. She's, 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 she's here. She's in this town looking for me. What, what's she doing here? Oh. That was where she went? I've been searching for her for three days now. I don't understand you. So what, you knew that she was coming to this side of town and you couldn't even tell me so that I can prepare myself and at least leave town? How was I supposed to know she was coming to you? What, you didn't know about it? How did she find you, by the way? Ah. This, this must be my sister. I, 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 I must have goofed. You didn't have talked about your mom when you uh, my mistakes. Yes. You also made the mistake of not giving me a share of the money my mother gave you. Biggest mistake of your life. Vina, not now. Please don't, don't even threaten. Okay? Not now. It is not a threat. You were supposed to give me my share of the money. But you took off immediately, you got it. Vina, this is not the right time to talk about this. Alright, can you make plans to get your mom out of this town? Okay? Then you and I can now talk about this later and then you... We sort it out. I give you whatever it is that you're asking for. But for now, can you just get her out of town? Please. Fine. Um, where is she holding up? A hotel. Okay. Um, I need you to test me the address. First thing in the morning, I'll book a flight to you. Okay? Okay. I'll, 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 I'll do so. One more thing. You better have my money waiting for me by tomorrow morning. You have my account number. Listen, I'm... Don't give me excuses, Kenneth. Okay? I need my money by tomorrow morning. And, um... If the money is not there by morning, my mother will be the least of your worries. I assure you that. Hello? There's trouble. My mother has found Kenneth. What do I do? <laughs> I knew you would come see me tonight, lover boy. I knew you would come. What do you want from me, Mofa? Mm. How did you find me here? Is that how to greet the love of your life? Huh? Love a boy? Listen, I don't know what you're up to, but if you've come here to spoil things for me, I will not hesitate to cut you down. I see. Do you remember this wine? Do you remember how you used to enjoy drinking this wine with me after making sweet and passionate love to me? If you've come here to try to get me to sleep with you, you have failed. Because I'm getting married to Justine. In a couple of weeks, nothing can stop it. That wedding will not see the light of day. You have suddenly gone deaf. I said, you are mine and mine alone. And I am not ready to share you with another woman. <laughs> You have to be out of your mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm out of my mind. In fact, I'm sick. Sicker than you can imagine. You promised me love. You promised 
never to break my heart. <laughs> when all you were doing in town was to stay at your cousin so as to finalize your wedding arrangements, you should have left me, Kenneth. But no, you came and I roused the feelings that I have managed to suppress. So that means you're going nowhere. Nowhere. Mother, tell me what she wants so that we can put an end to this drama. Are you deaf? I said I want you. I want you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you didn't hear me the first time. If you think you have anything on me, you have lied. I am getting married. And if you think that you have something on me, then you have failed. Because I will personally walk up to Jocelyn and tell her how I have wronged her and how I have betrayed her love. And I am confident that she loves me enough to forgive me and still marry me. So you see, you have failed. You're going to be in for a big shocker. A big shocker. I promise you that. We'll see. You're in for a shocker, Kenneth. <laughs> well, I am here today for our wedding. Hmm? Come, let's go, baby boy. Is what you've done to us. You cheated on me with this woman. <laughs> After professing love to me. <laughs> he not only cheated on you, my dear. He is also going to be paying for your wedding. With my money. <laughs> Our wedding. My money. Right. No. That's not true. Mm. Ken, are you paying for our wedding with her money? Answer. You see? He's so quiet. <laughs> That's a sure sign of guilt, right? No. I can't do this. I can't do this, Ken. I can't marry a man that lied to me. Say that. I love you, baby. No! Please come. You shouldn't have, Kenneth. Please, please, please. Yeah. Please, please. I told you. I mean, you should have left my heart that was so close to love. You shouldn't have. Oh. Small things for me. This woman is small things for me. This woman is small things for me. Just a second. 
Ah. Hello. Hello, Jocelyn. Good morning. Good morning, Ma. How are you? I'm very well. Um, are you at your shop already? Oh, yes. I'm here. Oh, nice. Um, I would like to see you. There's something urgent that I want to discuss with you. Oh, okay. Well, I am at the shop. Do you want to come now? I can, I'll see you in an hour. Very well, Ma. I'm waiting. All right. Bye. I'm already on my way, don't worry. I, I know I'm running a bit late, but I will be there in no time, okay? Hi, darling. Hola. How did you find me here? Oh, you thought you could run away from me forever, right? Thank God Bina gave me your address last night. And here I am, so we can talk. Uh, listen. Look, uh, we can talk about that now, alright? I, I, I have to run to the airport. Bina is in town, I have to pick her up. I know she's here. See, that is why I don't want us to waste any time. See, I came here for something important. Just hand it over to me and I'll get out of here. Listen, you're not hearing me now, are you? I'm saying that we can, we can do this, but not now, okay? Just let me go and then, you know... So you like, could go pick Bina to help you convince her mother not to come between your wedding, right? Kenneth, why didn't I see this selfish part of you from the beginning? What do you want? I want my money. We had an agreement and you ruined it after taking my money. Taking a hold of my body. Okay, what can I can't do? Listen, I know we, we had an agreement, but I'm saying, calm down. Just calm down. Give me some time. Let me get through to this schedule. And then you and I will just meet somewhere and then sort Vina, this out. Vina told me you got 10 million from Muffet. I want all of that money, all of it. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly amused at your greed. You, you, you want what? You want all the money? All of it. <laughs> Come on, stop it. <laughs> Kenneth, I do not only want the 10 million naira. I also want the 40 million naira which you are going to get from Mofe from me within the next one week. Is that Are you out of your mind? Hola. You know what? Enough of this nonsense. Get out. Switched off. Switched off. This guy must be joking. First he left me stranded at the airport and now switched off. This guy is playing with fire. I'm not joking with you, Kenneth. Give me what I want. What do you want? I don't have money. Yeah, quite all right. Mofa gave me 10 million, but 
A huge chunk of that money has gone into my wedding preparations. I, I, I don't have money. Oh, come off it. You know I'm not talking about money here. Oh, really? So who are you here? I want the new pictures and videos you took of mother. How? How did you know about that? Vina did. She's a nice girl who believes she's talking to her mother's best friend who has got her back. So I need those videos and pictures now. Why? Because with those pictures, I can blackmail my friend to get whatever I want from her. That woman is your friend. She is your friend. She is your best friend. Are you going to tell her? Are you going to tell her? How will she find out? Oh, stop. Ah. You're clearly out of your mind, Paula. You're out of your mind. Kenneth! Out of your What are you doing here? Oh, Vina. Oh, welcome. You can sit down and join the party. self-respect oh my god you were actually sleeping with my mom's best friend while sleeping with my mom oh my goodness <laughs> it was not an affair we just did oh shut up shut up you old slut how do you treat my mom like this how do you expect her to feel Knowing that you slept with him, like she loved him. <laughs> Your mom's friends, remember? You should be more concerned about how she will feel when she found out that you sold her out to a stranger, knowing how vulnerable she was. You are evil. I regret. You did all of this. You did this. Oh, I don't. I actually came here to confirm what this woman told me at my shop. But right now, I don't understand what's going on here. But I have a feeling that everything this woman told me is the truth. No, 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 Calm down, this is not a time or place for me to explain things to you, but I will. I what is going on here? What is going on? Can somebody tell me what? Hey. Oh. Hey. 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 You want to shut up before I shut it for you. You like carrying yourself as if you are an egg, but you did not take this idiot one second to get into your pants. Yes! You always think you know everything, but you were not sharp enough to notice this young man got interested in you just to sweep you up your feet. I guess you didn't see it coming that your daughter must have minded them. Mm, mom, she's right. I didn't want things to be like this if only you were the mom you were supposed to be since dad died. All I wanted was just for him to soften you a little so I can I can get money from you whenever I want, but the bastard 
took off immediately he got the 10 million. And I paid him 200,000 to get me your nude pictures and videos. I guess I was pleased. But I'm here to correct things now. Because everybody will go home here happy. Oh my goodness. Kenneth, you told me you were sent for an official assignment when you traveled six weeks ago. I mean, I've been not going into my head. She paid me a offer that I couldn't really refuse at the time. And then we, we need money. We, we were planning the wedding and we needed cash. And I, 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 and I just played along. I'm, I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. How dare you? How dare you, Ken? How dare you? How dare you use our wedding plans as an excuse to bring shame and disgrace to me? It's the truth. I'm sorry. I just have to tell you the truth. Don't forget the events leading up to, 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 to the time that I, I lied that, that I was going to travel on an official assignment for the company. Don't forget how things were with you and I. I'm sorry. I don't get you, Ken. When are you planning on getting all the things we need for our wedding? We have just four months to our wedding. And I have given you that. Just give me a little more time. More time? No, Ken, please don't try to get on my last nerves. No time for what I've given you all the time you need. So what do you want to do? Break the bank? Oh, yes. Steal from somebody? Go rob a bank, Ken. I don't care. No. What's your plan? To bring shame to me? Never. Please. What is it now? What is it? Oh, you've been hostile. I came, I, I came to surprise you. So I, I can see I'm busy. So what is it? I know you're busy now, but take it easy. Sweetheart, calm down. I'm your husband to be. Relax. Yeah, talk now. I'm listening to you. I'm busy, Ken. You're throwing me off balance. Relax. I mean, I just feel that you have, you have been busy for a while and, you know, Maybe Yona could just, you know, go out for lunch today and probably take you somewhere for, for a spa appointment. You've been working really hard lately and I'm just thinking you need... Ken. Yes. Kenneth, yes, I maybe. don't want to eat anything, so you can't steal me out for lunch. And if I want to go to the spa, I know how to find my way. I am busy! What is it? I said I am busy. How do you want me to explain this to you? Oh, I don't know now. <sighs> But I love you. I'm just trying to be. Thank you, Anne. I just want to be nice to my woman. I... I'm just trying to be a good man to you. Why are you treating me like this? Why are you being so hostile? You love me, woman. Is it love that is going to fix our wedding plans? The money is not complete. Don't you get it? You are here telling me you want to take me out for lunch. You want to take me to spa. Is that going to fix our wedding? Money. We need the money. Complete the money. Get the money. Complete the money. Stop telling me we'll get it and you're coming to my shop to tell me you want to take me out to buy me food. Is food my problem? Ah. Uh -uh. Tell you that it's this part that is my problem right now. It was about a week after you and I had that fight that Vina approached me with this. with this crazy idea to to seduce her mom for financial gains and given the way things were between you and I, I didn't know what to do. I little escape, so I, I, I accepted the deal. I see. My attitude pushed you into doing what you ought to do as a man. Justly, the man is as honorable as the woman he is with. You. You weren't there for me. You were fighting me. If you loved me, if you showed me support, if you if you encouraged me, if we were at peace, 
things probably would have been different. I, I probably wouldn't have understood the crazy deal. And then now we're in this mess with this woman standing here and pointing the gun at us. You know what? This wedding is over, over! Ben, this is just a little situation. We can fix it. I love you. You know I do. Not after you cheated on me. And the way you went about it, you disgust me right now. He loves you, Jocelyn. What? Yeah. He loves you. I've enjoyed the love of a man before. And so I know. Feel love when I see one. He slept with you. Made away with your money. That's a despicable act. He told me he sent you the 10 million naira I sent to him. Right? Yes. Oh, that's genuine. It only takes true love for a man to do that. When we were coming here, I was coming here with the sole intention of watching you and Kenneth. You know why? He was at my hotel last night and we had a chat. I could see the fire in his eyes, his, his burning desire to, to marry you. And so, oh, I was consumed with jealousy. I wanted him to feel the amount of heartbreak that I felt. I wanted the both of you to, to break apart. But watching what is playing out before my eyes now, I share a blame in it. Okay. Vina, the reason I never allowed you to assess so much money it was not because I hated you. No. I only wanted you to be an independent woman. I wanted you to, to be more careful about life. But I'm so ashamed of myself now for giving out a whooping 10 million naira because of good sex. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel so ashamed of myself. What was I thinking? Ever since Dad died, you've been nothing but good. You've been strong. You've been there for me. I'm just so selfish. I'm, I'm sorry, please forgive me. It's fine. Henceforth, I promise you, we're going to be a happy family. We're going to be together again, okay? And I'll make everything up to you, okay? I love, I love you. Shut up! There you go again, always ignoring me. How dare you ignore me and the fact that I'm the one with the gun? Because you have been foolish, Ola. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have been foolish too. Okay. Just, just, just keep the gun away, please. And I promise you that I, I will let everything slide. Let everything go as long as you don't come anywhere near my family and I again. Who the hell do you think you are? And what makes you think you can talk down on me? Look, Enough. I have. Oh, I've listened to all of you talking, and now it is my turn to play the game. Get it? Look at me. I am not joking now. Hand me the videos and the tape of you having sex with her, and I am not playing this time. Hand them over to me. Thank you. 
What? I couldn't do it. I just could not do it. I, I could I could do that to my friend. Yes, I do have a plan, yes. I had scouted out some money, yes, I know. I had sex with her, I know, but you thought this woman was good to me. I took care of her. She was kind, she was gentle. There was no motive for me to, to, to be that weekend and, and go along with your plan to black the house. If I knew pictures, I couldn't do it. You called this woman here nice and gentle. Maybe to you. But to me, she's not nice and she's not gentle. What, what are you talking about? I'm talking about you not being a good friend. How many times have I come to you for money? What did you do? You turned me away. Even when you knew that my husband and I fell into hard times. Ola, but, but you've never asked me money for something worth the while. You've only asked me money for vacation, shopping, or to buy a car. And you don't expect me to give you that kind of money all because I have it in my account. That's not right. There's no problem. There's no problem at all. But you know what? You are going to give me my own 10 million just as you gave him. And you are going to do that now. Stop, stop, stop this, Ola, please. Watch what you're saying. Watch what you're doing before you do something stupid. No! This is the only chance that I have to get something from you. Give me this money and you will never see me again. But please, stop this nonsense. Please, just put the gun away. Please, stop No! It. Everyone has gotten something. I want something too! You know, I kind of liked how you were when you were with Kenneth. <laughs> you were so happy, full of love. And I'm sad that you stop chasing love and happiness now that this whole thing has ended. Who said so? That I will stop chasing love and happiness. <laughs> huh? You see, Kenneth only woke up with a sleeping dragon. If you loved me while I was with Kenneth, I love myself too. You see, my experience with Kenneth only taught me a lesson. 
I'll open my heart to real love if it comes will be wholly accepted. But this time, I'll be more careful. In fact, you know what? What, Mom? When this heals, you and I will go shopping. Mm -hmm. Look, I want to change my wardrobe. You will handpick clothes that I can wear for clubbing. <laughs> what? Clubbing? Yes. Mom. In fact, you're going to come with me. Maybe you supposed for me that you can dance very well. <laughs> eh? And that you can dance for me. Oh. You will show me that they are the club. It's going to be so much fun. No, I'm going to teach you all those dances. My favorite one. Your Which hand. one? Favorite. Okay. Are you serious? So I should do. <laughs> Don't worry, else. <laughs> we'll do good. I passed that way. I passed that way. Careful, careful. <laughs> <laughs> 